you need to have two or three or four people because these snakes are all muscle. Keep a firm hand on it. Don't be angry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, man. Thank you so much. Gotta go. After a call from Dr. Sen, I was heading out on my first rescue. Heart beating out of my chest, I wondered what animal would lie in wait. I just hoped we'd get there in time. We got to the house, masked up, and were shown inside. Our animal in distress was a small female pangolin. Is this a big one? No, this is a juvenile. Juvenile pangolin. It's got, a, it's got an injury. Found across Asia, the critically endangered pangolin is the world's only scaled mammal. Despite looking like warriors, these adorable creatures are thought to be the world's most trafficked animal. Up to 100,000 are illegally hunted and traded each year. Back at Lokawi, wildlife vet Dr. Rosa took a look at the pangolin's injuries. Are the injuries bad? Um, Life threatening? Uh, any any kind of animals which gets you know bitten by dogs can be life threatening, especially for a young ones like this. She'd really been through the wars, and for me, it was love at first sight. I decided to call her Warrior. After patching her up. Dr. Rosa decided that the best caretakers for her were us. Try little warrior, we're going to take care of you. You're going to come and live with my cow and Ben and me in our house. Armed with a jar of mealworms, it was time to take our little warrior to her new home. So, so she can eat muesli with yeah, me and Ben no, in the morning? Not muesli. <laughs> <laughs> No, and a, and, a, and a fresh coffee as well, maybe ah, in the morning. Give that to me, then I'll be happy. <laughs> Here she is. This is Warrior, and she's a pangolin, and she is our new coward Billick. So it's mine and Ben's responsibility to take care of her for the next few days until she's better. You okay? Yeah, I think she's fine. Anyway, I'm exhausted, as I'm sure she is. I'm gonna give Warrior some food, and then it's sleep time. <sighs> okay, so we've put in another bottle. Okay. Uh, she has some food. Some food. Now some put, put, the, put the milk in. As the sun rose over another morning at boot camp, I was full of optimism. Today I was scheduled to help with the elephants. Elephants are some of my favorite animals, and this was my first chance to really get up close and personal with them. This was going to be great. Or so I thought. Ocean. After an all too familiar morning spent scooping up poo, 
It was time to meet an old friend for lunch. I first met Baby Joe at the start of my journey, an orphan Bornean elephant and the sole survivor of a terrible mass killing in 2013. Rescued by the WRU, Joe has been looked after by his handler, Zural, ever since. Hey. Hey. Nice to see you again. It's dinner time. <laughs> Joe, I spent all morning making this food for you and now all you do is eat weeds. No, 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 the nice stuff. <laughs> Joe, the nice stuff is behind you, you're standing on it. Delicious sugar cane. After Joe finally munched down some of the food I'd so lovingly prepared for him, it was time for his afternoon stroll to the play area. I hold it by the ear. Yeah. Okay, we'll, okay, we'll give it a try, yeah? yeah. Soon enough, it was my turn. That's all right, Joe. And I started to see how much of a handful Joe could be. I think the name Baby Joe is a little bit misleading. He's only a juvenile, but he still must weigh about the same as a car. Thankfully, Zura was at hand to help. Maybe you could teach me some commands that I could use for Baby Joe. Some words in Malay? Yeah. Stop. Uh, berinti. Berinti? Yeah. Stop. Stop. Yeah, okay. Kiri, the left. Kiri, left. Okay. Kanan, right one. Kanan, right. Okay. And let's go. Uh, jalan. Jalan. Yeah. Jalan. Okay. Jalan. 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 It looks like by holding onto the ear, um, you can really kind of train them. It's a good way of controlling them, especially animals that can be a bit boisterous like Joe. Yes, you heard me say your name, didn't you? No, this way. Jalan. No, Joe, Kiri. Kiri. Joe, Kiri. Joe, Jalan. Jalan. Joe, Jalan. Go on, Joe, Joe. No. Joe, come on. Joe, no, not that. No, come on. Okay, maybe I'm not controlling him so well. But, who can blame him? Delicious weeds everywhere. Once in the play area, Joe was clearly enjoying himself. This is only a juvenile elephant and it's relatively tame. Now, if you're out in the wild with a fully grown adult trying to actually take charge of the situation, man, that is, that is gonna be difficult. No wonder the guys go through so much training. But for all his mischief, Joe does also have a soft side. Good boy. Good boy. So today was day number... Don't know. I've lost track of days. They all sort of merge into one big giant poo cleaning day. It was really nice to get a little bit of an insight into the elephants themselves and spend a, a bit of time with the trainers and of course get to see baby Joe again. It was amazing for me to see that baby Joe could respond to all of these commands in Malay. And elephants are incredibly intelligent animals. They're incredibly social and elephants can grieve and that's what really hit home today when you're seeing some of his behavior and trying to imagine what he went through. Baby Joe witnessed his whole herd being poisoned. He saw his mother, his father, his siblings dying. I mean, can you imagine what that's like? Can you imagine if that was you or I? Imagine how damaged you'd be. Truly tragic situation. All I can do is hopefully use some of my experience to gain more exposure for this. And then when I'm here, just help out and, and be as useful as I can to the guys. Whoa, very big. <laughs> Basar. Right, and how is Warrior? She's pretty weak. She doesn't look so good, eh? Yeah. I like the way she's breathing. Look how she's breathing. 